What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be using a Shadow Rider Calyrex team that features the one and only Solgaleo, obviously weakness policy Solgaleo, alongside with one of my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon, Gyarados. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, want to give a huge shout out to everybody support me because my channel's been doing really good as recently. So if you guys have been enjoying the content, like I said, hit that like button, click that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the content. But we're using Gyarados today, and Gyarados I use all the time in BDSP, but I haven't used in Sword and Shield in so long because it really fell off the meta. But still, definitely one of my favorite Pokemon, so I cannot wait to rock out with them and potentially Dynamax them and grab some wins. But uh, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Shadow Rider Cadillacs, one of, hands down, the one of the best restricted mods in this game. It is just too good. It outspeeds pretty much everything, and it hits like a truck. We got the As One ability, alongside with the Focus Ash, and then move set is going to be protect astral barrage bulldoze to get some speed control and the proc weakness policy on Solgaleo. and last but not least we have will wisp for burns on opposing opponents physical attackers second pokemon is going to be our second restricted mon it is going to be Solgaleo, another absolute beast of a uh, restricted mon especially with that weakness policy it's got full metal body so you know stat changes do not affect him then he's got protect sun seal strike eq and rock side which i think is just the best move set for any Solgaleo. Middle left is going to be Tapu Koko over here with that electric surge so we can have surge control up against opponents like Ndidi or uh, Rillaboom. Then we got White Herb as item and this thing is all about physical attacking. It's got Protect, it's got Wild Charge, Brave Bird, and then you turn to pivot out and maybe get a different Pokemon in the battle. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Gastron over here. Storm Drain Gastron with the leftovers to kind of counter up on Kyogre and Rain Teams. We got Protect, we got Yawn to put Pokemon to sleep, Earth Power for Stab, and Ice Beam. I feel like this is like the meta move set of Gastron now. We I, we used to see like Scald on the Gastron, but now it's just been Yawn, Earth Power, Ice Beam, Protect. And it works so well, so cannot go wrong with it. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our little support mod, more of like a taunt Pokemon. It's going to be Goth Tell with Shadow Tag and Kasee Berry. It's got Protect, it's got Fake Out for Flinches, Taunt to Taunt opposing support mods, and Psychic. So, really, this Pokemon's kind of here to taunt like support mods and kind of keep Pokemon in battles with that Shadow Tag. So, maybe we'll use it, maybe we won't. Hopefully, we get to showcase this Pokemon to its fullest potential. Final po Pokemon on the squad is going to be my favorite, the one and only Gyarados over here. Like I said, haven't used this Pokemon in a while, so super excited to actually rock out with him on the rank ladder. We got Intimidate, we got the Citrus Berry, and then we got Protect, Thunder Wave, Waterfall, and Ice Fang for its lovely four moves. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder, look to get some wins with this Gyarados Series 12 team. We're hopping into our first battle, and we're going up against a pretty cool team. He's got half Trick Room, half Sun Team with the Groudon and Charizard, and then he's got the Trick Room half with the, uh, you know, the Wimscott, the Porygon 2, Amoongus, and Ice Rider Calvary. So how should I go into this one? How should I play? I feel like Storm Drake Ashton is not going to be coming in here. It's not going to do too much work. Gyarados can definitely be good because he has two physical attackers. Basically, he has three attackers to, to bring him victory. And it's going to be Charizard, Groudon, and Calyrex. And then two of them are going to be physical. So Gyarados is going to be solid. I could end up leading Gothitelle just to taunt Pokemon. But at the same time, it's kind of tough. We do also have Fake Out. Um, who should I roll out with here? Could go in with Cali. Cali isn't too bad. Uh, so Galio could go into Coco. Coco is not too bad here either. But I, I feel like Lee and Gothel is going to be the call alongside with a Pokemon maybe like Calyrex. Mm, I don't know because I really don't want to pop in that. Uh, that what's it called? It could be tough. That Trick Room stuff. That Trick Room stuff could definitely be tough. What are you rocking as moves? I think you, I think I know what you got. You got all that. Dude, Trick Room's tough with this team. Trick Room is definitely tough, but then he cannot hard swap, so I can actually waste out turns. So, you know, I'm going to go there. Uh, I am going to end up leading a Pokemon like Calyrex, just in case he wants to not go into P2. Actually, let's go into Solgaleo here. Solgaleo, Gyarados, and then Calyrex in the back end. I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. Tough choices for me. This is going to be a tough battle for me. I'm really scared of the Trick Room side here. I definitely am, but you guys know the deal. Before the first battle starts, let me know in the comment section down below for a question of the day. What are your top three Gen 1 Pokemon? Considering we're using Gyarados, he's definitely in my top three. I want to get you guys' answers for top three Gen 1 Pokemon. I can't even think of, like, top three. I like Victory Bell. I can just name a bunch that I really like. I like Victory Bell. I like Gengar. I really like Starmie. Starmie might be a top three for me. I love Starmie. But this one's going to be tough for us. This one is definitely going to be tough for us. Look at this. P2 and Amoogus is going to get the lead. Um, hmm. Hmm. What do I do? Is he, this is a free trick room, right? This is just a free trick room. And at this point, I could just psychic. I might just do. I mean, I could go for taunt. I'm gonna try to taunt that thing, and I guess we'll go for a sunset strike. 
guess we'll double down to p2 try to get some damage off onto it but i think a rage powder's gonna come out here if rage powder does it does you know it's gonna end up protecting oh amoongus this could be solid for us this could be solid for us I'm gonna protect amoongus and we're gonna sun shield strike and i thought we faked it out i thought we just faked it out i guess we double down into it wow fake out could have been good Guess we did not use fake out but we do that we're gonna chip up some damage here and oh we taunted yeah that's what we did that's a beautiful taunt a beautiful taunt so now we have the p2 taunted out um what do we do from here we just psychic down i feel like maybe psychicing down we have shadow tag he cannot swap either which is gorgeous so i'm just gonna do that and i'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep going i could go for some flinches too I could go for some flinches, but that's a huge taunt for us. He protected the Moongus. I could have sworn he was going for Rage Powder. That would have been the call. I think he just saw me going for like a big old Psychic move. And maybe rocking a Psychic move with uh, Solgaleo as well. But he can't swap out. We're rocking Shadow Tag, so this is really, really good for us. I might want to taunt a Moongus next turn, but I'm just going to start chipping up on damage on it. Psychic and a Sun Seal Strike. Maybe we'll chip up a decent amount of damage here. Sun Seal Strike coming in hot. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. The so Solgaleo is not going to do too, too much. I'm not going to Dynamax him just yet. I'm, I'm going wait to wait a hot second. Let's look at that damage. That's some beautiful damage. Can Psychic KO? Psychic might be able to KO. Take him out. Get him out of here. So close. So close. He's going to end up going for a foul fight. That's fine. He's going to chip up damage onto... Oh, he goes after Gothitelle. I'm surprised. Solgaleo is usually the target for that. And a Palm Puff's going to come out of here. He's going to Palm Puff onto me. Chip up some more damage. And that's totally fine. We have Speed Advantage all day onto him. And at this point, I could just drop a Rock Slide. Go here. Rockslide should be able to take out that uh, that Amoongus. We're just gonna hope it connects. Okay, I'm cool with that. Dude, if I can get rid of the, these Trick Room Mons, we'd be rolling strong. We'd be rolling super strong here. Just not allow him to get off Trick Room. That could be really good for us. That could be really good for us. But my problem would be him bringing out uh, a Strider Calyrex and potentially popping a Trick Room with that. But at that point, I have Sun Shell Strike and I have a lot of Pokemon to kind of counter up on them. Let's see what he does. He's going to end up protecting the Moongus. That's fine. We were going for Rock Slide in that slot. So we have a chance to flinch here, too, if it lands on the P2. Hopefully. Hopefully it lands on this lovely P2, and it does. Give me that flinch. Give me that flinch. Give me that flinch. That's all we want. Psychic's going to poke through here. Uh, sending it that way. And we're going to chip up some more damage. Give me that special defense drop. We got a flinch on him, too. And he shakes off Taunt. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to Taunt him again. Taunt Rock Slide. Give me no, no reason not to do it, you know? Give me no reason not to taunt him up again. It's not like he has a Calyrex on the field. I really do like this. He cannot swap Pokemon. Shadow Tag is coming up big. Shadow Tag is coming up huge right now. You would think with these Pokemon right here, he would definitely like try to swap out and roll off from there. But dude, he's not. We just need this Rock Side to connect on this Moogus because I cannot afford a Palm Puff to go into P2 and heal that Pokemon back up. Let's just rock and recover. Recover is kind of scary. Recover is kind of scary. But if we taunt him, he can't use it. Rock Slide's gonna come out here. Who dodged it? Who dodged it? P2 dodge. Okay, that's fine. I'd rather P2 dodge it than Amoongus because Amoongus is gonna go down here. That's a big turn for us. So we get a crit on the Amoongus. It was taking him out regardless. We tell him to go home. Okay, that's fine. We miss Taunt. We're gonna Taunt him. Hopefully, he's going for a Trick Room or some type of move like that because I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get it from that way. He was going for a Trick Room. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good thing we taunted that thing. So now that we have him in a Taunt, uh, what do we do from here? Probably gonna bring out maybe Ice Rider Calyx or is he gonna bring out here? He's gonna bring out Groudon. Ground's gonna get flying here. Uh, I might swap out for an Intimidate because he's probably going for a ground move here. I might swap out for an Intimidate and keep chipping up onto this uh, P2. Right, yeah, we're gonna go here. And I'm, I'm just gonna hard swap to Solgaleo. That's my call all day. Get my Gyarados out here. Hopefully he's going for a ground move and get a dodge. It'd be huge if he Dynamax is going for a Quake. That would be beautiful. That would be beautiful. But yeah, let's hard swap here. Let's get off this Intimidate and just keep chipping damage onto that P2. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with it. Intimidate coming out on the field. We love it. We still have Soul Galio full HP. That's a that's a great Pokemon to have at full HP. We're gonna end up going for for Psychic. He's not Dynamaxing. I'm guessing he's going for like Blades or something. We need special defense drop. And now we go. Oh, oh, hey, 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 hey! Think Swords Dance. That's a scary little Swords Dance. That is a scary little Swords Dance. And I might Dynamax unless he's rocking a Rock Move. Does that KO me? It does not. I'm gonna double down in P2 at this point. I am gonna double down in P2 because who do I have in the back end? A Calyx and I have you. I mean, if he could proc policy, we could be thriving, but still, yo, that thing's looking scary. I'm gonna double down to P2, see if I can get rid of it. I would love to change up weather, though. Wow, we thought we was going for a ground move, so Intimidate's gonna work well for us. He's gonna end up Dynamaxing, and now we're getting into the juice of the battle. Like, this battle's been slow so much, but I've been worried about the P2. 
And his little trick room combo. He has a world out here. So I'm gonna end up getting off. And he's gonna Dynamax. I think he just. I mean, if he drops a rock, he changes up weather. Which is eh? I mean, does he have Charizard in the back? Or did he, he has to have Calyrex in the back, right? He has to have Calyrex in the back. Let's see how this one plays. Psychic's gonna come through here. And can we take out this Pokemon here? I would love to get rid of this little booger here. With this and Ice Fang. He's gonna go for a Steel Spike. We should be able to eat that out. Once in Goth Tell. Cool. So Goth Tell's gonna uh, die here. I could bring out Calyrex. I could Dynamax Calyrex. I definitely could. This thing is gonna start getting defense boost. And I don't know what we should do. I do not know. Should we go into Should I go into my Solgaleo Dynamax him? But we're gonna go into here and we're gonna take out P2. That's a big time hit. It's a big time KO. Um hmm. What's my player? Because defense boost could work wonders for us. And then we could just bring out my special defense Pokemon after this. So I think I'm just gonna bring out Solgaleo Dynamax him. Are you faster than Groudon? You might be. You should be. 158 should be faster than that. That's huge for us. So I'm going to take this. He's probably going to bring out Ice Fire Calyrex. And I'm just going to grant some defense boost and get after it. This is scary. He is plus one. He is plus one. And it is definitely. He's definitely looking a little scary here. He throwing out here. Calyrex is going to be Calyrex. Calyrex comes through here. I, if I had to guess, he's going to Dynamax. Right? Or not Dynamax. If I had to guess, he's going to protect. But we cannot eat berries. We, we, we have a citrus berry. So we can't eat that. But at this point, I think I just had to go for Steel Spike here. Get a defense boost up against two physical attackers, and then I could Thunder Wave him, but I think I'm just going to Ice Fang him. Where do I double down into you? I'm going to double down into Calyrex. I just feel like it's a play. Actually, no, I feel like he's going to protect him, right? I feel like he's going to protect, so we're just going to go for a little Ice Fang onto the slot. That's going to be my play. Pokemon's scary, dude. Pokemon's scary, but we will have a defense boost going into both these shots. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of relying on my uh, Solgaleo over here to get some work done. I'm just hoping he can eat up a max quake, which I think he can. Plus one defense. He's going to be plus one attack, so it kind of evens it out. Right? Yeah, he's plus one attack. We intimidated him, and then he swords dance. Minus one to plus one. Okay. It's going to be close. It's going to be close battle, but yo, I was definitely scared right off the rip. I thought he was going to just sweep me, go through a trick room, and kind of roll off from there. But not a bad battle. Not a bad battle to get this video started. Okay, let's going to Dynamax. We're going to go to 440 HP, baby. 440. Love it. And Steel Spikes didn't come out here. He is rocking the Babiri Berry. Okay, so he knew he was rocking the Babiri Berry. Solid little turn from him. More importantly, we get this uh, defense boost and we're gonna chip up some damage. We chip up some damage there. That's beautiful. And we'll take this defense boost to the house. To the house, baby. Boost my Pokemon up. Boost him up. Babiri Berry is gonna weaken that damage. He's gonna go for a quick. So we're hoping that we can actually soak this up here. All right, can we soak this up? Yes. All day. Now, my problem is, can we soak up whatever Calyrex is going? You can get a special defense boost there, too. Special defense boost. Looking a little scary. Now, you're going to lie. Weeze policy is going to proc. That's huge. And now, I'm definitely scared of that protect coming out from the Calyrex. I'm definitely scared. Ice Fang's going to poke through here. Get some nice damage off on that thing. And no. We proc his policy. <laughs> All right, now I'm scared. Now I'm terrified. High horsepower coming in here. We should be able to eat that up, right? All right, cool. Um, what do we do from here? Real question. We still spike again? <laughs> That's terrifying. That is terrifying. I might have to double down on Calyrex here. We think he's gonna protect? I mean, if he doesn't protect, Steel Spike just kills him, so. What do I do? He's gonna protect Gary this year. Should protect Gary. Does he protect? I protect. He might be protecting. We'll see. Please don't protect Calyx. Please don't protect Calyx. He does it. Beautiful. So Calyx is going to go down here. We are going to get a defense boost. And hopefully he's going after Gyarados. Hopefully he's going after Gyarados. I'm kind of just trying to waste out these turns. Is this going to be last Dynamax turn? Gyarados is going to be plus two on defense, which is pretty big. And I wonder what he's going, going to go for. Because he's plus one on defense. He's plus one on attack. He's plus one on special attack. And now he's going to be plus two on special defense. And he's going to take out more. Okay. If I can waste out these drought turns, that could be beautiful. Actually, no, he's plus three on attack. He's plus three, but he cannot use Precipice Blades on my Gyarados, which is which is enormous. I could throw a burn on him to kind of like chip and pester some damage if I want to. But I don't know. I don't know. I still have the Calyrex in the back with that Sash. The lovely little Sash. All right, this, one, this one's a close battle. It's a close battle. I'm definitely scared of that because he probably is Rock and Rock Slide as well. Hopefully, he's not Rock and Rock Slide. Maybe he has the Sword Dance, Fire Punch, Protect, and uh, Blades combo. That is, an, that is an option. That is an option. We do have Unnerved, so if he... Uh, he's not rocking a berry. Never mind. Unnerved kind of does me dirty. Because I have a berry. My Gyarados has a berry. <laughs> but he's plus two on defense, which is great. 
So from here, I really want to throw this onto him. I really want to throw a burn onto him. And maybe look for some flinches. Actually, they both have like the same amount of chance. Well, this one can actually leave it frozen. And it's super effective. It's not neglected damage there. So will -O -S is going to connect. That's a huge turn for us. We burn a physical attacker who's plus three on attack. So we'll burn that and neglect a lot of the damage that he wants to do. He's going to go for Rock Slide. Who dodges it? Calyrex dodges it. And, and Gyarados. Oh! Oh! And Gyarados. And Gyarados comes in there. And Gary comes in there. Hearth Sunlight fades. Wrap this battle up. That dodge right there just, just won us the battle. I think we were winning it regardless, but that dodge just legit solidified the battle. So I'm just going to go Astro Barrage. I'm going to drop a Waterfall now. Now that the heat is gone. And we're pretty much going to chip up some mean damage here. Right? Yeah, Astro Barrage. We have speed too. Both of these moves should bring him down to close to death, right? Yeah, there's that. This actually might KO. Let's see. Oh, Rockside comes out first. As long as you don't flinch, Gary. As long as you don't flinch. But look at that soak. Look at that soak. The plus two defense on a Gyarados. Gyarados does flinch. That's a little whack. But uh, Astro Barrage should be able to come through here and win us the battle, right? Astro Barrage will waterfall again. If I was smart, I would have protected that Gyarados because, you know, Astro Barrage would have went first. Gyarados could just protect and then uh, Burn could kill it. But our opponent cancels the battle and we have a solid first one. What a solid first battle. We thought we were going to have a tough time with it. We counteract that trick room with that Goth Tail and we rolled out from there. But what happened into our second battle, going up against a really cool team. Zamazetta and Yvelta team with Elder Goss. Elder Goss I haven't seen in a while. I used to use back in the day. Then he has Landorus, Regilecki, and Dragonfall. Okay, Jeans. How are we playing this one? How are we going out? How are we going about it? Um, Yvelta definitely have to watch out for uh, because he, he can legit just dump on Calyrex. And he might end up leading that. But uh, a Pokemon that I really want to bring in here could be... I kind of still want to lead the Calyrex. <laughs> I really do for some reason. Go Calyrex maybe into like a Gyarados? Hmm. Calyrex just is type nice. It's really fast. It's really fast. I could go there. I could maybe Dynamax Gyarados turn one. I wouldn't be too shabby. I could Dynamax Coco as well. Or I could Dynamax Solgaleo because you know Solgaleo is a monster. It's an absolute unit. Um, I could go Coco. I kind of want to lead Coco. Coco. Coco Beans. Oh, and it's shiny. That means we have to lead it. That means he has to come in here. Even though, ah, uh, that's all right. That's all right. We're going to go Coco. We're going to go Coco. See if we can roll off from there. Go Solgaleo. And then in the back end, Gyarados. Coco, baby. Coco beans. I love it. I love Tapu Coco. I love it. But I honestly like the other Tapu Coco better. The special attacking one with, like, fairy moves and stuff. You guys know what I'm talking about. You guys know what I'm talking about. But, uh, we'll take Terrain. We'll get a little bit of electric going. Electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. <laughs> it's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. That's what I'm gonna start saying every time Electric Tank comes out. If I start to remember. But he's gonna end up going pull. This is, this is good news for us. This is great news for us. This is great news for us. We bring out Tapu Coco. And wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Guys, just wait for it. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. And it's electric. Boogie woogie woogie. <laughs> you guys understand that 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 joke or where it's from. Leave a like on today's video or leave me a comment. But uh, he's going to end up leading Pole alongside with Eldegoss. And I think from here, it's just a free Astro Barrage we just dropped. And I can Dynamax you and grant some speed power. Right? Right into this Eldegoss. With it. Let's get Coco Beans Dynamax. He has one of the coolest shinies, not going to lie. I've always been a fan of like like that black color shiny. Like Charizard kind of has it, but this one's a little bit darker. But it, it just works so well with that orange color. It just works so well. That's why Charizard works so well. Doesn't it have like a little hint of red in it? Or is it, it's a, I know it's like black and white, but I think it has like a tiny, tiny hint of red. Like just like on a scale or something. But it looks so sad. Or no, it's his tail. It's his tail that does, that does the redness. It's his tail. That's bad. That's, 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 that's amazing. He's going to go for Sucker Punch. That's fine. You go for Sucker Punch. I'll allow my Focus Ash to proc here. I'll, I'll allow it. I'll allow it just this one time. Dragapult's going to go down here. No problem. That was stupid Dragapult. You were a Life Orb too. You are life orb. We're just focus ashing in your face. I'm gonna be able to drop this. I'm gonna take out Dragapult, no problem. And more importantly, I get my as one. Oh no, Cotton Down! I hate Cotton Down. I forgot about Cotton Down. God dang Cotton Down. So we're gonna be minus one in speed now. Cause we're gonna get Cotton Down again. And then we're gonna go plus one. But so Grimnade's gonna get boosted. That's tough news. Cotton Down, dude. Cotton Down coming out here. Oh, we are White Herb. That's huge. That's huge. So you're gonna be normal. You're gonna be normal and you should be fast on the field, so I can boost my uh I can boost my Calyrex's speed back to back to uh normal. Which at that point should just be fastest. But look at that, yo. My white herb coming up clutch. That's a solid first turn. You did have sucker punch. Sucker punch did me a little dirty, but still luckily we had that sash. 
And he wasn't expecting the sash. He 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 he. Do a little. Uh, what is that? What what do they do? The, the evil villains. Do like he 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 he. <laughs> In like every single movie ever with a villain. They do one of these too when they're plotting something. Like <laughs> in their fingers. <laughs> he's gonna end up going Reggie, which I think he's gonna die in my Reggie. I believe he's gonna die in the max of Reggie. Or he might die in max of belts. I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and lie. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. I think at this point we can protect the Cali. And do I just airstream? I feel like airstream's gonna be my play. Just to get some speed for Calyx. Just to get some speed for Calyx. Cause I think he, uh, we probably should've went after the Reggie, but uh, it's fine. It is fine. Yvelta's looking a little scary. Can do a ridiculous amount of damage. I do not see Yvelta going uh, through my protect, right? I'm surprised he didn't sucker punch with that. That probably would've been play. You know, go for a sucker punch. But I think he's gonna E-Web. Oh, he's just gonna slow me down with E-Web. So my speed plan is not working. So I'm protecting. Just wasting out some turns. Protect my my Cali Cali. E Web's got coming hot, right? Yeah, E Web coming in hot. That kind of just ruins my plan. I mean, it does boost speed for uh, Calyrex, which is bad. It does boost a little bit of speed for Cali Cali. He's gonna drop speed. He's gonna be able to outspeed me now, and you should be going after yeah, Coco Coco. Eat this up, please. Thank you very much. He's gonna get a special defense drop, which is a little whack, but still we're just wasting out these Calyrex turns. Which is good news. Which is lovely news. And Calyrex did not go minus one because it did not get hit. Now Calyrex should be even on the board. And if it can outspeed this Regilecki, that can be solid. If we can get off one more turn with that, because it does have... It is plus one on the Grim Neighbors. It is plus one on Grim Neighbors. So that's a solid turn there. I am going to drop a Max Lightning at this point. Kind of go from there. But uh, let, me, let me see something real quick. Your speed's neutral. What's your speed like officially at? I don't know, because this sometimes it cuts it close. These are the two fastest Pokemon in the game. 222. Reggie might be faster. You are oh you're fully invested. What's your nature? What's your nature? A modest. Okay, so if this Regilecki is full and then invested in its nature in speed, then it could be tough. But I'm gonna send it. Send it, baby. Rock it out that way. We're gonna roll up with that. And I'm gonna go for actually I could go for a flutter by. Special attack drop. Special attack drop, and then we have Garrus and Solgaleo in the back. Nah, we gotta get off some damage here. We gotta get off some damage. Let's run it. Go ahead, Calyx. Go first. No! No, no, no! <laughs> God dang it, dude. That cotton down really did us dirty. But yeah, he's gonna uh, he's gonna finish off both my Pokemon. And this is it's looking a little tough for us because we have Gyarados in the back. Gyarados does not fare well here. Not fair. Well, can you eat this? No, he's minus one. Ah! That one hurts his soul. That one hurts his soul. This is looking not good for us. This is not looking good for us. Is Gyarados gonna go down to any electric move? So Galio is going to go down to any dark move. <laughs> yeah, yo, this one's over. We lost this one all day. We're dying in one shot here. We're dying in one shot. Ouch. That one hurts the soul. That one hurts the soul. Yvelta was a really tough Pokemon. But look, Yvelta's just going to absolutely rip into my Solgaleo. And then, obviously, Regilek, he's four times super. There it is. No bueno. It is no good. It is no good. Um, I mean, I guess we'll go for an EQ. Just try to take you out. And I, I guess we'll go for an Ice Fang. Maybe maybe try to get a freeze, but he outspeeds me all day. He's going to Thunderbolt, right? Thunderbolt takes me out. And we just rise and bolts me, which is double damage. Bye, Gyarados. See you later, buddy. And then Dark, and then uh, Max Darkness. Ah, done. Bang. Later. EQ's going to come out here. Can we take out Reggie? Can we get rid of this Reggie? Tell him to go home. Okay. At least we made the battle a little close. We get a crit. No, oh, we get a crit. But yeah, it's, it's all over right now. He takes me out 10 times out of 10 with this Max Darkness, right? 10 times out of 10 times. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gone. I'm gone. One on one for uh, today's video. Not a bad second battle. Really came down to wire, but that Yvelta was just overpowering. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves some winning record. We're going up against a Regiram and Ice Rider Calyrex team. It also features P2 for Trick Room, Regilecki, Tapu Fini, and last but not least, he has Incineroar. So I think he might lead Incineroar. I feel like Gothitelle is going to be great just in case he wants to go in the Trick Room. So I'm going to end up leading the Gothitelle alongside with a Pokemon like, hmm, like maybe Coco? Coco isn't too bad here. The Finny, I don't think he's going to lead the Finny, though. Could go Solgaleo. I think he's going to lead the Incineroar and maybe the P2 or, like, the Vezilecki Incineroar. Something along those lines. So, like, this wouldn't be a bad call because I could just EQ kind of, like, freely kind of get after the battle that way. We'll bring Calyrex in the back end, and then I want to get Gyarados out here. I've been loving Gyarados. He's just such a fun Pokemon. But, yeah, that's going to be our squad. Coco Beans, I'm sorry, buddy. You're in the back end. You're in the back end. Even though you did solid last battle, just Yvelta came in there. Gave you a little slappings. Gave you a little slappings. It's, it's all good.
it's all good though because everyone gets slapped by Uelta every here and there but yeah that's uh i think i feel like that's one pokemon that this, this team really really struggles with is going to be Uelta. both my restricted mods are super effective against it it just rips into it and if it has sucker punch night night or foul play which most of them rock sucker punch and foul play bang bang see you later especially like a dynamax together there's been multiple times where like i proc policy and someone just foul played me bang dead dynamax full hp just gone just gone instantly he's gonna go rest ram mp2 i'm um, at this point i'm just going to uh taunt and da, 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 da. i could dynamax Solgaleo. i could definitely do it but i might not i might do it anyway i don't know hmm fire is looking scary i could have him proc policy and we can roll out from there can't swap so i could fake out uh i definitely just want to taunt this turn do i want to taunt this turn or do i want to fake out this turn I'm gonna fake you out. Chip up some damage on P2 and then taunt next turn. I'm just gonna quake. I am just gonna quake here. I'm gonna Dynamax Solgaleo. I'm gonna say maybe he procs my policy. We can, we can get buzzing from there. I'm like, I maybe should have let him trick him. Because Reshiram might be faster than me. Actually, no, he's not. Unless he's not Dynamax here. But I, I see him Dynamax, right? So I'm gonna Dynamax my Solgaleo. I'm gonna get right after this battle. Gene's just getting right after this battle. I kind of want to save my Dynamax for Gyarados. Just have some fun with it. But we're looking for the win. We are looking for the win. We're going to Dynamax so good. He is also going to Dynamax. So luckily, Trick Room is not going to be out and about. We're going to fake him out real quick. Give him the quick old clap skis. We're going to get the special defense boost. And is he special attacking? I'm trying to think. I think he is. I think Regiram usually is. But this might be a weakness policy, Regiram. Sometimes they are. Sometimes they're not. I feel like most of them are Life Orb, though. I feel like they're either Life Orb or weakness policy. So we're hoping he's actually uh, he's Life Orb here, hopefully. So if you guys can come through here. Oh, yeah. Well, I probably should have taunted him just in case he was going after Gothitelle, but it's all good. It's all good. We're going to quake up here, get a special defense boost, and chip up some damage on this Regiram. Chipping up some damage on the Regiram. I wish I knew 100% what, what, uh, if this thing was physical or special. That's my, that's my one flaw with playing this game, is my pokey, uh, is my pokey smarts. He's going to proc policy here, which is huge, and I think this thing is special attacking. Well, but thanks for the policy, Brock. He's gonna get a special defense boost, and we are physical attacking, so beautiful. That's beautiful. I am going to now taunt up onto that P2, allow him not to set up Trick Room, and we're gonna roll from there. And he's Shadow Attack, he cannot swap. He cannot swap. We're gonna taunt here. I could read the uh, max guard here. He could definitely guard up, but I'd rather go for this. He could definitely guard up, but I don't know if he's gonna do it. Maybe I should have doubled down on the P2. That could have been a nice play call by me. Read this max guard, because I think he is gonna go in the max guard, but just in case he doesn't. I'd rather get off some damage on him. Let's see. He does not. Cool. I got it in it. See, yo, smart or easy play is usually the play. Max Quake comes out here, and we say, Regiram, get on out of here. Taking him, picking him up like a, what is that? The Mii on the Wii menu? If you guys have ever had a Wii, when you made Mii, you could pick him up with, like, your little Wii remote, and you pick him up like this, and they, like, wiggle in the air. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're picking up Regiram like this. We're just, you know, just tossing him. <laughs> like, get out of here. Trash him. We're gonna end up taunting this P2. He's gonna do his little duck leg spins. And he's probably not gonna be able to pop trick him. No, he's going for foul play! Hey! <laughs> Yo, this thing's ripping with foul play. That does be dirty. That does be dirty. Hopefully, he brings out a physical attacker that I can throw a burn onto. And we should be able to get off one more solid turn here. Oh, Regilecki. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. Not one bit. Not one bit. I don't like that. <laughs> not one bit. Um, I guess we'll double down in the, in the Reggie here. I'm doubling down in the Reggie. Is that quick again? What other Pokemon do you have? The defense boost. I might go for defense boost here. But he's got to have Ice Rider, right? I feel like Ice Rider's going to be playing. I'm just going to Steel Spike. I am just going to Steel Spike. Even though it's not very effective, it still should do a lot of damage here. It still should do a lot of damage, especially us doubling down. And yeah, he's Volt Switching. Who are you going to Volt Switch into is the real question. That is the real question. Who are you Volt Switching into? I feel like none of your Pokemon do too well. Unless it's Incineroar. Unless it's Incineroar. But I, I just don't think you're rocking Incineroar in the back end. It is in Son of a biscuit. <laughs> son of a biscuit. Quake would have been the play there. Quake would have been the play. Full Metal Body's not going to affect us. Wow, dude. If we would have just straight up Quake, could have been GG's. We could have just dumped on that Pokemon. No problem. We could have just dumped on him. No problem. We're going to do that. We are going to get a defense boost, which is nice. And uh, Foul Play is definitely going to take me out, right? He's going for a Foul Play. No problem. Like it comes in hot, it does not affect Incineroar. That play comes out, we gone. Okay, uh, from here, 
I think I just intimidate and I maybe protect Gyarados. Definitely a possibility. Save my Calyx for the back end because one one Astro Brush should be able to take him out. So I'm just gonna go here. I'll send this Intimidate. And I'll just protect Gary. I'll protect Gary. Gary. Gary the Gyarados. <laughs> Agent G. <laughs> I wish you guys can go inside my mind and just see how it works. It is running 24-7. 24-7. No problem. Um, we're going to go here. Uh, we have Shadow Tag. You can't swap. You cannot swap. So, you know, I'm just going to protect. He's obviously faking me out. He cannot swap. Unless he obviously uses, like, Punny Shot or something. But he can't hard swap. We have the lovely little Shadow Tag. I'm protect. Fake Out's coming in hot. Nice little block. I can Waterfall you next turn if I want to. Which is exactly what I want to do. I'm going to roll from there. So Psychic's going to poke through it. We're going to chip off some damage. Maybe get a special defense drop. Give it to me. Give it to me. Made a crit, but no special defense drop. Foul play's coming in hot. He's doubled down to Gary. He's doubled down to Gary. E2's going to shake off Taunt. He's going to say, hey, yo, that's enough of it. I'm just Psychic. I don't really care about that uh that trick room anymore. We're kind of just going to roll off from here. Kind of just going to roll off from here. The Waterfall, I think, should be able to take him out. Gyarados, come up clutch for me. Get it, Gyarados. Psychic coming in hot. Give me the special defense drop. I would love it. I would love it. No special defense shot. Waterfall. Or KO. Fingers crossed. Take him out. Gary. <laughs> Gary the Gyarados. <laughs> Loving him. Loving him. Foul play is going to poke here. He's going to go after Gary. He's going to chip. And um, I might protect my, my Gyarados this turn. I might protect my Gyarados. Let's just chip up some damage on the Reggie. Onto this lovely little Regilecki. Yeah, I'm going to chip up some damage onto you. And I'm just going to protect my boy. I kind of want to paralyze that P2. P2 is kind of scaring me. I mean, we have the Astro Barrage in the back, but it does not affect P2, right? He's normal typing. And I just have Bulldoze. I mean, I can burn him and start chipping. That's gonna, this one's going to be cut, kind of close. This one's definitely going to be kind of close. Psychic's going to fly. Chip up some damage onto you. That's beautiful damage. That's some beautiful damage. Foul Play's going to fly through it. You should be able to soak that. No problem, right? Yeah, look at that. Easy eats, baby. Easy eats. Easy eats. So now I can psychic again. I could go for double protect. That could be my play. Which I might have to do. I'm gonna go for double protect. Definitely going for double protect. Hands down. Because if I can land this, we can get rid of Regilecki and we keep my uh Gyarados. And of course it fails, but now he's just gonna rise voltage, he's gonna take out my Gyarados. And this turns into a 2v1 situation. I probably I could have hard swapped there. I definitely could have hard swap. I definitely could have hard swap. But Goth tells can come out here, he we are going to take out Regilecki. That tells one of those Pokemon, kind of like P2, that people leave. Like, like, look what I'm doing. I'm leaving the P, the P2 chilling. And uh, it's doing a lot of work on us. He's going to Eerie Impulse. Okay. He is going to Eerie Impulse on me. It's a little tough. So we're going to have to start banking on some crits. That's tough because, look, we have no effect with Ash Raj. We can only hit with Bulldoze. <laughs> so I'm going to have to, I'm going to burn this thing turn one. Start slowly chipping up damage and we're just going to go from there. Um, I'm going to actually taunt him too so he can't Eerie Impulse me anymore. I play all day. I play all day. I am taunting you. You cannot do that whole eerie impulse stuff anymore. Just leave me alone. So we're gonna go there and I'm gonna throw a burn on them. This is tough. This, can, this, this might cut it close if he has recover. He has rock and recover. That could be tough. So Willowis can come out here. Hopefully he's going for an eerie impulse. Because if he is, we can waste a turn here with his taunt. I don't want to deal with it. So taunt coming out here. I'm gonna say no no to that eerie impulse. Which I think he would be going for, right? He does not. He goes straight for the foul play. Okay, you can eat that up, Cal. Actually, have a focus ash, and you're eating it up regardless. Okay. Um, I could protect. Just start chipping up with psychics. He gets a crit, so we might be able to eat up another one. I'm just gonna protect Cali. I'm just gonna protect Cali here. Go for psychic. Start chipping up. Hopefully, get a special defense drop and just go from there. Just go from there. It's my play. It's my play. Cal actually gonna be able to do nothing against this P2. We're just hoping it's not rock and recover. Like recover's a little tough for us. Recover could be tough for us. We'll protect the Calyrex. We'll go for a Psychic. Chip up some damage there. And we don't get that. Foul play coming out here. Block. Okay. I see you. I understand. Burn's going to chip through. We're going to have to go for a Bulldoze. And along top of that, we're going to have to go for another Psychic. And we're running out of Psychics. We're, we might, if he has Recover, we lose his battle. Wow, don't tell me I lose his battle to Recover P2. Don't tell me I lose his battle to Recover P2. Bulldoze coming out here. You're slowing down, everybody. That's fine. If he has recover, we lose this battle. I mean, a special defense drop. I mean, he can't recover. We taunted him. This one's going to be kind of close. Give me special defense drop. Give it to me. 
God dang it, Foul Play, can you eat that? You might be able to eat that. Do not. Do not. Um, we just have to keep taunting him and allow Burn to kind of take him out, right? Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's our play. He shakes off taunt. I gotta taunt him. I have to taunt him. He can't really do too much damage to me. I have to sit here and taunt him and have that burn start chipping off on him. I have three psychics left. Three psychics left. The burn is gonna have to be our friend, and we're just gonna have to keep taunting him, allowing him not to recover. That's my play all day. My play all day. I have to. It's a must. So we taunt him. He has recovered. Yo, thank the Lord. We needed that. We needed that. That's a huge turn for us. We're not allowing him to recover, and we might win this battle just solely off of this burn and this taunt. Got the tail, got the tail clutching up. Don't tell me got the tail clutching up. Have you guys ever seen a got the tail clutch? Come on, probably not, right? Probably not. Never seen a got the tail clutch. That deserves a like and a subscribe if you guys are not subscribed or haven't liked the video yet. We finally get that special defense drop. That place can come in here. We soak that up, no problem. That's pretty much GG's, right? Burn's gonna chip here. Lovely, 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 lovely. We have two more psychics left. God dang, God dang. God dang, God dang yo. Huge turns for us. Psychics can come through here. He cannot. If he had, if we did not taunt him and he recovered, he won the battle all day. He's gonna go for foul play. Burns gonna finish off this battle, and your boy does it. He prevails and grabs you guys a beautiful winning record. It's amazing. That's amazing. By P2. That was a solid battle. That was a solid battle. What a set of matches all around. Going 2 and 1 for today's video and getting to show off this team pretty well. We, the only Pokemon that we didn't get to use was Gastron, but you guys seen Gastron in plenty of other teams. Got the tail clutched up. Gyarados was tons of fun to use. Solgaleo and Calyrex, obviously really good. And we got Tapu Koko some loving in these battles too. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.